Hello everyone and welcome to Music Box episode 6. My name is Georgia and today we're going to visit some musical acrobats. Okay, well not musical acrobats, some musical acrobatics. How different instruments can be flexible enough to play almost anything. To jump and leap about, to be energetic and to show off. Speaking of showing off, have you been doing lots of singing at home? I bet you have. So can you remember all of the notes that we've learned already? Sing with me. Do, re, mi, so, mi, re, do. Beautiful singing, well warmed up your voices. Okay, so it's that mi, re, do that we're gonna be focusing on in this first song. And our first song goes like this. Elsie is an elephant who wants to play. She is musical and big and grey. She is fond of singing me, Ray Do. That's why the little children love her so. Okay, fantastic. So, let's do it in Do's and So's first. And let's slow it down a little bit because it's quite a complicated song. Ready? And off we go. Do, 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 re, mi, re, do. Re, 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 so, so. Do, 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 re, mi, re, do. So, 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 mi, re, do. Fantastic. Did you notice all of the times we sang? Mi, re, do. Okay, let's go over the words. So we've got Elsie is an elephant who wants to play. She is musical and big and grey. She is fond of singing. Mi, re, do. And that's why the little children love her so. Okay, let's give it a really good go all together. Okay? And off we go. Elsie is an elephant who wants to play. She is musical and big and grey. She is fond of singing me, Ray Do. That's why the little children love her so. Beautiful singing, well done. Okay, so we've done a couple of different things with rhythm in previous episodes, but today we're going to focus on rests. Rests are parts of the music that don't have anything in them. You're literally resting while they happen. So I've got a song, a very short song, which will have some rests in it. And I'm going to clap in the rests just so we can keep track of them to start with. And the song goes like this. Today I feel older than I've ever felt in my life. That's not surprising really. I am. Okay, let's give that a go. So I'm going to do two lines at a time. I'm going to go first and then you're going to copy me. Okay? And my turn first. Today I feel older. Okay, give that a go. And your turn now. Today I feel older. Fabulous. The next bit goes my turn now. Than I've ever felt in my life. Okay, three claps at the end there. Let's give it a go. And now your turn. Than I've ever felt in my life. Fantastic. And the very last bit. That's not surprising, really. I am. Oh my goodness, how many claps at the end there? Should we just hear it again? I am. many? Yes, six. Six claps at the end there. That's quite a lot of claps. Okay, 
My turn again. That's not surprising, really. I am. Okay, now your turn. Now your turn. That's not surprising, really. I am. Well done, fantastic work. So let's put all of that together and sing it all of the way through. And off we go. Today, I feel older than I've ever felt in my life. That's not surprising, really. I am. Well done, fantastic work. That is not an easy song, so really good job. Okay. We're going to take it up a challenge level. Let's leave out all of the claps. So we're going to put all the claps in our thinking voices and sing everything else. Ready? Hands on lap. We can't clap at all now. Ready? And off we go. Today. done and thank you for giving it a go. So our featured instrument this week is the bassoon, which is part of the woodwind family. If you've never seen one, it's a beautiful long wooden instrument with lots of metal keys down the side and it's played by blowing through a double reed or two pieces of finely cut bamboo tied together. Its sound is deep and rich and it's often underused in orchestral music. However, today our friend Nikolai is going to show us just what this instrument can do. super low playing, wasn't it? With such a dark and rich sound. But what about playing high, Nikolai? That was super high. Actually, a little bit jazzy. That was from Ravel's Piano Concerto. Okay, so the bassoon can play low and high, but it's all quite slow. I wonder if the bassoon can actually play fast music. goodness that was lightning fast. That was from Mozart's Marriage of Figaro opera and it sounded almost like the bassoon was running about. Okay so the bassoon can do anything. So let's hear some more music. This is Nikolai joined by cellist Miguel and they're going to be playing for us the last movement of Mozart's bassoon and cello sonata. There's going to be lots of highs and lows and fasts and slows. See if you can keep up. Thank you. 
and Miguel for joining us and thank you all for tuning in. Didn't it sound like the cello and bassoon were having a conversation in that music? What do you think they were talking about? So try this week to make some musical conversations of your own with your instrument and maybe roping in a friend or family member. And if you created some of the musical characters from a couple of weeks ago, you could try giving them some musical acrobatics to do. Going from high to low, loud to soft, and fast to slow. We love seeing the things that you create, so do keep sending us your drawings and ideas. Have a lovely week, stay safe, and see you next time.